Hello, fellow preppers. Ever thought about the what-ifs when reaching for your favorite snack? Imagine, there's a chill in the air, autumn leaves are falling, and, oh no, avocados are in short supply for your toast. While the changing seasons bring their own magic, they also herald potential food shortages. I mean, 2021 taught us to expect the unexpected, right? So, before you're caught unawares this fall, dive in with me as we uncover the seven food shortages coming this fall. And trust me, you'd want to be in the know. Because as they say, the early bird gets the worm, or in this case, maybe the last slice of cheese. Ready to prep like a pro? Let's delve in. Number one, cheese. Rich in calcium, protein, and vitamins. A and B12, cheese is a beloved ingredient in many dishes. From creamy pasta sauces to decadent grilled sandwiches, it adds depth, flavor, and texture like no other. But brace yourself, cheese enthusiasts. The dairy industry is seeing a turbulence, partly due to climate change affecting grazing pastures, leading to decreased milk production. Additionally, there's been an increased demand for dairy in emerging markets, putting additional stress on the global supply. Furthermore, some European countries have faced challenges due to regulations and local issues, leading to decreased cheese exports. Considering the possible scarcity, for those who deem cheese an essential, it's wise to stock up on hard cheeses like cheddar or parmesan, which have a longer shelf life. A reasonable estimate for stockpiling might be around 20, 30 pounds of cheese per person per year. Remember, cheese isn't just for direct consumption. It can also be incorporated into numerous recipes, melted into sauces, or even dried into cheese crisps for a crunchy snack. Number two, soybeans. Often used as a base for various products like tofu, soy milk, and meat substitutes, soybeans are a major protein source, especially for those on a vegetarian or vegan diet. They're rich in vital nutrients and have been linked to several health benefits. However, soybeans are facing a dual challenge. Extreme weather events affecting key producing regions and an ever-growing demand, especially with the rise of plant-based diets and products. With significant areas of soy production like the US, Brazil, and Argentina experiencing irregular rainfall and drought, there's been a noticeable hit to soy yields. If soy products are integral to your diet, consider stockpiling soybeans or soy-based products. A storage guideline could be around 20 pounds of soybeans per person per year. Besides direct consumption, soybeans can be used to make soy milk, tofu, and even fermented to produce tempeh or soy sauce. Number three, chocolate cocoa. For many, this might be the most distressing shortage. Chocolate derived from cocoa beans isn't just a treat. It's also known for its antioxidants and mood-enhancing properties. However, cocoa bean production is under threat due to a combination of factors. Climate change affects the narrow band around the equator where cocoa trees thrive. Additionally, diseases like frosty pod and witch's broom have devastated crops in key cocoa-producing regions in West Africa. As demand for chocolate continues to grow, especially in emerging markets, the pressures on supply have intensified. If you're a chocoholic, consider stockpiling around 10, 15 pounds of chocolate or cocoa powder per person per year. Remember, cocoa isn't just for candy bars and hot drinks. It can be used in baking, sauces, and even some savory dishes. Number four, tea. Revered for its therapeutic benefits and cultural significance, tea is the second most consumed drink in the world after water. From green to black, oolong to herbal, tea is cherished globally. Nonetheless, tea plantations, especially in places like India and China, are grappling with challenges like erratic rainfall, changing temperature patterns, and pests. These environmental factors compounded by labor issues in some areas, have led to reduced harvests and higher prices. For those who cherish their daily brew, stockpiling around three, five pounds of tea leaves per person per year might be a sensible approach. Besides the daily cuppa, tea can be used in recipes, cocktails, or even as a meat tenderizer in some culinary traditions. Number five, salt. While it might seem abundant, certain specialty salts like Himalayan pink salt Sea salt or flaky finishing salts might face shortages due to overmining and environmental challenges. Salt isn't just a flavor enhancer. It's vital for human health, preserving food, and even some household chores. Considering its wide range of uses and importance in food preservation, especially stockpiling around 5, 10 pounds of salt per person per year would be judicious. Besides cooking and preserving, salt can be used in homemade beauty treatments, cleaning solutions, and even as a natural pest deterrent. Number six, 
Avocados. These creamy fruits have gained immense popularity worldwide, especially in the form of guacamole or avocado toast. Rich in healthy fats, vitamins E, C, and B6, avocados have been associated with numerous health benefits, from improved digestion to better heart health. However, avocados face potential shortages due to multiple factors. Unpredictable weather patterns, particularly droughts, have affected the major avocado-producing regions like Mexico and California. Pests and diseases like the laurel wilt also pose threats. With the ever-increasing demand and potential supply disruptions, it's wise to enjoy avocados while they're available or even consider freezing their pulp. While it's challenging to stockpile avocados due to their perishable nature, storing 30, 40 avocados per person per year in frozen form might work for those who use them frequently. Number 7. Wine Grapes Recognized for its cultural significance and potential health benefits when consumed in moderation, wine, especially red wine, is loaded with antioxidants like resveratrol. However, the wine industry is encountering challenges. Climate change is altering the landscape of traditional wine-producing regions, leading to early harvests, inconsistent yields, and altering the very character of some wines. Events like the wildfires in California and Australia have directly impacted vineyards, leading to potential grape shortages. For those who appreciate a fine glass of wine, it might be worthwhile to stock up on your favorite bottles. Considering storage, around 30, 50 bottles per person per year for regular consumers is a rough guideline. Apart from direct consumption, wine can be utilized in cooking, especially in sauces, stews, and marinades. Let's chat about something that may seem a bit out of the ordinary, but is actually incredibly essential, prepping. Now, before you envision a bunker filled with canned goods, let's take a more refined approach to this. We've all seen the headlines about global changes impacting our beloved products. From that mouth-watering cheese on your pizza to the soothing cup of tea in the evening, our favorites are feeling the heat, literally. Changing climates, unpredictable weather, pests, and an increasing global demand are turning our everyday essentials into potential luxuries. Crazy, right? But here's the thing. Forewarned is forearmed. We have the knowledge and the means to be prepared. Think of it as a pantry insurance policy. For all you cheese lovers, imagine always having that rich, melty goodness for your pasta. Or for those with a sweet tooth, ensuring you never run out of that delightful cocoa in your brownies. Whether it's soybeans for your vegan dishes, the iconic avocado toast for Sunday brunch, or that glass of wine you look forward to after a long day, we can safeguard these joys with a bit of foresight. So why prep? It's not about fear. It's about empowerment. It's about embracing the future with open arms. And yes, with a well-stocked pantry. Because there's a certain peace in knowing that come what may, you've got your comforts lined up. Stay ready, enjoy consistently, and remember... A pantry prep today is a craving satisfied tomorrow. Let's get prepping.